Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. This year, the CSX Santa Train, a tradition that began in the 1940s under CSX predecessor, the Clinchfield Railroad, will celebrate its 75th running. And for the 75th, the railroad is going old school. In a joint announcement with the Southern Appalachia Railway Museum in Tennessee, CSX announced on Monday that this year's Santa Train will be led by a vintage locomotive, an EMD F7 model streamline locomotive, the former Clinchfield Railroad number 800, which just so happens to be the very first diesel electric locomotive the Clinchfield ever owned. The engine was repainted at CSX's Huntington Locomotive Shops and was quietly unveiled last month. It looks and sounds and is just like it was in 48. It's like restoring a 1957 Chevy and taking it to a car show and winning a blue ribbon. To everyday folk, it may not mean as much, but to folks uh, and railroad enthusiasts who are more history-minded, it means a lot. The Clinchfield 800 will be followed by another vintage engine, also in Clinchfield dress. Railroad historian and volunteer on the Clinchfield 800 project, Ron Flannery, said the two old workhorses on the front of this year's Santa train essentially takes the train back to its roots, roots that started a plant seven and a half decades ago. This year there's been a lot of sensitivity to the look of the train and the fact that it's, uh, uh, that it's the 75th running of the train and uh, an acknowledgement of where the train began in terms of history and a, and a throwback. So it's going to be a nice celebratory time. I think it's important and almost iconic that CSX has seen the importance of reaching back to its history as the Clinchfield Railroad with this locomotive. Getting the vintage locomotives on the Santa Train, particularly the 800, which pulled the Santa Train in one of its previous service lives, was a mammoth undertaking, requiring many volunteers to come together and many pieces to fall into place. I would say this reflects the sum total of at least 50 or 60 people in multiple organizations. Uh, and if you take any of those out of the equation, it becomes harder and harder to do, unless you're, unless you're Bill Gates. CSX has been tremendous from a corporate standpoint. They've shown a great deal of sensitivity and support to this. Couldn't happen without CSX, and uh, I'm just really proud of, of the railroad company for stepping up on this. And come November 18th, the 800 will return to its old stomping grounds and lead Santa through Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. For a Santa Train schedule, visit facebook.com slash Santa Train. In the newsroom, Chris Anderson, EKB News.